oh here we are all together again yes another week has come to an end and here we are now just past halfway through the month of May coming up today we have lots of things to talk about of course the live chat will be open for you to chat live to me sadly there is no Mr Steve today he is away rehearsing unfortunately also coming up today do you have any limited edition coins in your country I will be showing you some that are available right here in the UK and I have a feeling that one or two might be valuable ooh isn't that exciting also of course needless to say a big event took place yesterday here in the UK the royal wedding occurred just 24 hours ago did you watch it and the even bigger question must be did I watch it all of that will be revealed later on after all it is Sunday afternoon here in the UK it's just after two o'clock and this is live English here we go again hi everybody this is mr duncan in england how are you today are you okay i hope so are you happy i really really hope so so we are all here together again isn't that nice it is sunday and we are just over halfway through the month of may june is approaching i don't know about you but i feel as if this year is going by very very quickly in fact too fast i think this year is going by too fast that's what i think anyway so here we go it's Sunday it's Mr Duncan for those who don't know who I am I'm Duncan <laughs> and I teach English here on YouTube I've been doing this since 2006 when YouTube was just a little baby so I was one of the first publishers one of the first regular creators on YouTube and I am the first British person to ever teach English on YouTube not a lot of people know this but it's true mm. check the dates if you don't believe me so we are here live oh the weather has been so nice oh yesterday I went for a walk and oh look at that all of the daisies have come out I don't know about you but I love the sight of daisies in a field so there you can see lots of tiny daisies and they are all coming out to say hello to the sunshine oh isn't that lovely i must be honest with you i do like the summer months i am a very big fan of summer i get very excited about summer and of course all of the views that you can see during those particular months so as june approaches all of the lovely summer plants are coming out and there you can see lots of lovely daisies also i took a walk around much wenlock and to some other places yesterday which you will be seeing a little bit later on so there is the view yesterday it was absolutely gorgeous in fact i think yesterday it was too hot to walk outside it was too hot but I went for a lovely walk and well I did notice one thing the streets and the roads were very quiet yesterday there was hardly anyone around yesterday hardly a single person <laughs> do you know why yes of course the answer to that question is simple it was the royal wedding yesterday I, I, I'm supposed to have some shots here. Let's have a look. Oh, here we go. This is how they celebrated the royal wedding yesterday in Much Wenlock. So there you can see lots and lots of union flags hanging up. 
and these are hanging up outside one of the local businesses so there you can see yesterday everyone was really getting into the mood for the royal wedding yesterday did you watch it did you see the royal wedding yesterday i i'm going to be honest i'm going to be completely honest because you know me i'm always truthful and honest and sometimes very direct i did not watch the royal wedding yesterday i went out to do some filming i had a lovely day outside in the sunshine it was absolutely gorgeous so i can safely say that i haven't watched any of the royal wedding any of it i haven't seen any of it i think last night i was watching the news for around about five minutes and then i noticed there were a couple of pictures of the newlyweds harry and megan <laughs> of course i find it interesting that their surnames windsor and merkel if you join them together you get winkle so maybe in the future they will be known as the winkles i think so so if you combine windsor and merkel together you get winkle <laughs> so i think from now on i will call them the winkles yes that's exactly what i'm going to do the live chat is on we will go to the live chat in a moment but we have some other things to look at as well believe it or not because there is sadly an absentee today there is a person who is not here sadly mr steve isn't here today he's very busy but here he is right now to explain why he isn't here today hello there I'm, uh, I've got an apology to make because unfortunately I can't be here today. I'm at a rehearsal for my show, San Marino, in two weeks' time. Mr Duncan, of course, he's going to struggle. He's going to struggle without me. We know that. But uh, it just please be gentle with him. Just help him to do the best job he can. But he's not, you know, he, without me, he just falls apart these days. So, I mean, just, you know, do what you can and uh, give him all the support you can because he's going to need it without me there to support him. Because really, I'm the star. As well, no, I've taken over really now. <laughs> and, and uh, oh, I just love it. I love being on the stage. I love being... Oh, hello, Mr. Duncan. I was just, uh, I was just talking about you. I was just saying what a wonderful teacher you are, oh, and, and and how that without you there, I just can't cope. This was supposed to be a, just a very quick message. I didn't think Mr. Steve was going to be reading the Magna Carta out. So, so why aren't you here today, Steve? I know you have a rehearsal, but when does your yes. show actually start? When does well, it begin? A week on Thursday. A week on Thursday. Week so, on Thursday, not yes. next Thursday. The Thursday after. Thursday after, yes. Wow. And uh, I'm going to be looking very Spanish, and hopefully I'll have the costume next week, and we can uh, we can show your lovely viewers. And uh, uh, apparently pushing me off. Oh, yeah. Trying to push me I'm off. trying to get you over so I can actually be on the. Where's uh, the camera? Anyway, I've no idea where the camera the is. The camera's over there. there oh right, is. okay. There. I'm looking in the wrong place then. There's there's the camera. <laughs> it doesn't matter. So, have a lovely show without me, Mr Duncan. OK. And I hope your uh, viewers learn some English. I hope you project uh, better than you, you are now. Oh, thanks very much. <laughs> well, I'm on the stage. I will project. That's better. And That's I know not... there's a microphone here, so I don't it, have to shout. It's a shame, Steve, because today I was going to allow you to do all of the definitions of the word set. But <laughs> sadly, we can't because Mr. Steve isn't here. Isn't that a shame? It's an opportunity that's been missed, unfortunately. Damn By the way, God. next Sunday, and this is something we're going to reveal right now. It's exclusive. Next Sunday, Mr. Steve is going to appear on the live stream in his costume well i might have it i'm don't, not entirely sure oh okay we'll just have to wait and see i'm hoping to pick it up on thursday look the sun's setting the, the sun is going down over there 
I think it's just going behind a cloud. Don't get too excited, Mr. Duncan. I always get excited about everything. And look, can you see, can you see the rhododendron? <gasps> look at the rhododendron. Rhododendron. The rhododendron is looking amazing at the moment. I'm ever so pleased by, by, by just how amazing it looks. About the last seven weeks, this thing has been slowly coming out. And now, look. It's all red and lovely. It's not fully out yet, Mr. Duncan. It's going to look even better in another week. It's all red and lovely, just like Mr. Steve. <laughs> right, so I'm going to say ta-ta for now, and hopefully I shall see you all on Wednesday. Is that correct, Mr. Duncan? Are you going to be live on Wednesday? I will be here also on Wednesday. So, so shall I. Bye-bye, bye-bye. That's Mr. Steve. He will be with us on Wednesday and also hopefully next Sunday as well in his costume for San Marino, where he will be playing a Spanish man. <laughs> I really can't wait to see that. Bum, 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 bum. So there he was, recorded yesterday, Mr. Steve sending a special message. Sadly, he isn't here today. He's so busy because he has a show coming up. But as I mentioned, just I think next Sunday, hopefully, if everything goes as planned, Mr. Steve will have his costume and he is going to appear on the live stream next Sunday dressed as the character that he will be playing in the play that he is doing he is performing in so i'm really looking forward to see that i can hardly wait to see that to be honest did you see the rhododendron in the garden oh let's have a close look at the rhododendron because it is looking fantastic now oh look at that isn't it beautiful i think the rhododendron is one of the most beautiful and unusual flowers that there is i think it's a beautiful beautiful plant and this one has grown quite a lot over the past five years since we moved here so we have been taking extra special care of this particular plant we have been giving it lots of nutrients and because of that it has well <laughs> it's looking very healthy let's put it that way so there it is the rhododendron is now officially <laughs> in bloom <gasps> oh my goodness i just want to go outside now i want to run up to the rhododendron and give it a great big hug i really do i am forgetting something but in a moment we will have a look at the live chat but first of all i have to say a special hello to a group of students at Mimar Kemal Middle School in Ankara in Turkey and there is a reason for that because they recently went on a special trip they did and that trip was because of me so a big hello to Mimar Kemal Middle School in Ankara in Turkey who last week went for a lovely trip to the same place that I filmed in in Turkey during my special lesson about going on holiday. So can I say a special hello to you all? And hopefully, maybe next week or the week after, they are going to send me a special video that they made right there. So I'm hoping that it will be here maybe next week or the week after. I have a feeling it will be the week after next. So they have made a special lesson and they were all wearing t-shirts with my photograph on. In fact, they named the trip Mr. Duncan's Trip. So thank you very much for that. And once again, a very big hello. And I'm looking forward to seeing the video of your trip. Mimar Kamal Middle School in Ankara, 
turkey i have been to turkey twice and i had a super duper time right let's have a look the live chat is up and running yes it is so let's see what's going on there shall we right oh yes we have a lot of chatting taking place on the live chat <laughs> if i can just get it to come up on the screen that would be very very nice i don't know why sometimes this live chat has a mind of its own so here it is the live chat yes finally it is on the screen so for those who are wondering the live chat is available now you can say hello if you want right now yes it's live we are now live at 20 minutes past two on a sunday afternoon the 20th of may 2018 it is as live as live can be just for you so let's have a look see who has been on so far can i say a big hello to julie oh hello julie and daniela did you watch the live royal wedding as i mentioned earlier i did not watch it i did not watch the royal wedding for various reasons well actually yesterday i was out and about i was walking and filming and preparing some bits for today's live stream oh mr duncan the rapeseed flowers are beautiful well belarusia we will be seeing some more of those later on because i have a special video that i filmed walking around and showing you some of the beautiful summer sights around the area in which i live and oh also can i say get well soon to belarusia i think you are feeling a little better because you have joined us today so i hope you are feeling much better after your recent trip to the doctors alamiga says hi mr duncan hello to you as well pedro is here you are very patriotic today well i'm trying to be but i didn't watch the royal wedding yesterday i didn't see it <laughs> and yesterday when i was in town I, I almost got into trouble i almost got into a fight with someone because i wasn't watching the royal wedding mm hello mr duncan hello everyone i'm late again sukat don't worry it's nice to see you to see you very very nice i have an english flag not a uk flag oh i see so you have the red cross you don't have the red white and blue sukat the daisies look beautiful yes oh i love daisies so much i love looking at a, a field full of daisies and also dandelions as well i like dandelions they are very interesting plants olga says yes i watched the wedding ceremony it was great but who was the lady in gray with the leaves which read the poetry about winter and rain i don't know because i didn't see it maybe someone else can answer that question the world cup is approaching yes we are just a few days away from the world cup which is taking place in russia so we will see what happens there it should be very interesting i don't follow football myself but you know lewis is here hello lewis or louis i am a shy person but i'll say good afternoon all the same you are welcome louis louis mendez you are welcome to say hello even if you are shy it's fine by me razan no i did not see the royal wedding i didn't watch it <laughs> sukat is asking to see mr steve dressed up in his costume for the play that he's appearing in well hopefully next sunday we should have mr steve wearing his costume next sunday ania says i love your sense of humor thank you very much for that I always try to be happy <laughs> as I always say life is too long to be miserable well done Julie G oh apparently Julie G has passed an exam so can I also send my congratulations to Julie as well well done well done on your success 
hello from moscow i love your lessons svetlana hello svetlana svetlana rokina oh i love your name by the way that's a great name so thanks for joining me today on the live chat mr duncan what is the difference between while and during well while is whilst one thing is taking place another thing is happening and during is something that happens whilst something is occurring so they are actually very similar in meaning <laughs> mariam asks are you married mr duncan well i didn't watch the royal wedding yesterday but i i am actually thinking of getting married i'm not sure when but maybe maybe this year maybe next year who knows mario hello mario greetings from brazil and you are very welcome because that is why we are all here to share our love of the english language that is the reason why we are all here today to do that thing i have one or two things to talk about today we are going to talk about rare coins rare coins now i'm not talking about old coins i'm actually talking about coins that can be used nowadays so money currency so types of coins and the reason why i'm mentioning this is because there are many many coins that are in circulation now that are quite rare here in the uk and i have some of them here we will have a look at those a little bit later on but that is what we will be talking about today of course other things as well to talk about it would appear that lots of people did watch the royal wedding yesterday now i went into town yesterday and i said to someone i was in the baker shop and i mentioned that i wasn't interested in the royal wedding and all of the people around me were so shocked they couldn't believe it now this was yesterday afternoon so the the wedding had already taken place you see so i said that i hadn't watched it and they couldn't believe it it was as if i just said something really offensive but i hadn't all i said was i'm not really interested in the royal wedding i didn't watch it and everyone was quite surprised in fact one person says don't mention that around here because people will get very angry with you now the last time i looked uh, I, I was under the impression that this was a free country where you could express your opinions freely and openly so all i said was i wasn't interested in the royal wedding and everyone was so surprised they 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 almost seemed angry <laughs> i don't hate the royal family can we just make that clear now i don't hate them but there are certain things that i am interested in and certain things that i'm not interested in it just happens to be the way i am so some people like certain things whilst other people dislike certain things that is the way the world works especially in this country the live chat is very very busy let's have another look quickly at the live chat <laughs> i don't know what's going on today the live chat seems to have a mind of its own <laughs> let's have a look at the live chat shall we here it is <laughs> i never look at the royal wedding but yesterday i saw the wedding feast just by chance says helena well i i didn't watch it at all i didn't see any of it not one second tomac or oh sorry thomas freak thomas frick hello from the czech republic keep going with your great work we can learn lots from your nice language thank you very much i recommend your channel to my students to improve their skills thank you thomas and thank you for your recommendation i do appreciate it Sujian uh, agrees with my opinion yes well not everyone 
likes the same thing we can't always like the same thing sometimes people like something and sometimes they don't it's just the way human beings happen to be it's so crazy what that person told you about the royal wedding i know i was actually warned not to say anything they actually warned me they said be careful mr duncan what you're saying around here people around here love the royal family so if you say that you didn't watch the royal wedding then they might think that you are a bad person tom x says i have to put a complaint forward you have been ignoring my posts here for a while well i'm not anymore and can i just say that i don't ignore anyone sometimes i don't see the messages because it is not always on my screen so that's the reason why so i'm looking at the messages now but when i do this <laughs> i'm not looking at the messages so if you send a message now i won't see it but if you send a message now i will see it so that's the way it works <laughs> i can't quite believe i'm explaining all of these things but sometimes you have to you see sometimes you have to so here in the uk we have had lots of rare coins issued over the past 10 years i would say so since the start of the new millennium there have been lots of special coins and today i'm going to show you some of those coins now i've heard that these particular coins are very valuable and here they are so you can see these are for those who are familiar with uk currency we have pounds and pence and these three coins are all 50 pence pieces so they are all worth 50 pence you can see are uh, at the top left there is a special coin with peter rabbit and at the bottom in the center you can also see another character connected to peter rabbit squirrel nutkin and at the top right you can see a special coin commemorating the battle of hastings and that particular coin was issued in 2016 but apparently all of these coins are supposed to be valuable <laughs> i don't know how valuable they are but apparently they are supposed to be valuable so there is the first one enid blyton's peter rabbit pete oh no not not enid blyton beatrix potter i do apologize for that enid blyton was a different author altogether so beatrix potter wrote some books about these characters peter rabbit so there is the first one and then there is squirrel nutkin another character and finally we have a special coin commemorating the battle of hastings of course for those who know their history they will know that the battle of hastings occurred in 1066 a very long time ago <laughs> a very long time ago in fact a very very long time ago not quite a thousand years so there we go some rare coins but the question is do you have similar things in your country do you have rare coins in your country now i don't mean old coins because i know that old coins can be very very valuable because they are old and rare but i'm talking about coins that you can spend now and sometimes they have very special limited editions so do you have them in your country i am very keen to find out how much these coins are worth so i actually have them here with me now so there is the <laughs> you probably can't see it i will try to make it clear on the camera so there is the battle of hastings coin 
I don't know how much that is worth, but I have heard that some of these coins might be worth up to 50 pounds if you have one. So I don't know if these are rare coins or not, or how much they are worth or whether or not they are actually valuable. <laughs> Maybe they are worth nothing. Maybe they they have no value whatsoever. Maybe they are just worth 50 pence. Would you like to have a look at today's mystery idioms? Because on a Sunday we always have mystery idioms. So just before we have a look at one of my special full English lessons in the sunshine, here are today's mystery idioms. There is the first one. So these are well known expressions in the English language. All you have to do is tell me what they are. So it is a well known expression in English. And here is the second mystery idiom. It is a well known expression. Can you see the wedding ring? Do you think that's do you think that's Meg's wedding ring? Can I call her Meg? Is that OK? <laughs> Can I call Meghan Markle Meg? Or is that inappropriate? I'm not sure. And there is the first mystery idiom. All you have to do is tell me what those phrases are. All you have to do is tell me what you see on the screen. Of course, I will give you the answer later on. I will give them all to you later. So now we are going to take a look at one of my full English lessons. This is a special lesson that I made, I think, about three years ago. And this was filmed on a very hot day in my garden. Can you see what sort of day it is here? Today is a hot day. It is a midsummer's day. This seasonal period is when the days are at their longest and quite often their hottest. A hot day can be described in many ways. It's a scorching day. It's scorching hot today. It's a sweltering day. To swelter is to feel uncomfortably hot. It's baking hot today. It's burning hot. This sort of weather makes me feel all sweaty and sticky. If you stay out in the sun too long, you will burn. Your skin will turn red from the sun's ultraviolet radiation. Too much exposure to harsh sunlight will literally burn your skin, which can lead to serious health issues later. Ironically, exposure to UV light is necessary for the production of vitamin D2 in the human body. So, a hot day like this can be described as hot, scorching, sweltering, dry, baking. The extreme heat is overwhelming, oppressive, harsh and unbearable. Oh my goodness, I'm so thirsty. I feel parched. I'm gasping for water. To refresh yourself by drinking something cold is to quench your thirst. Your thirst is the need and the drink is what will satisfy that thirst. We can also use the word thirst to show the desire to do something or to obtain something beneficial. You can have a thirst for knowledge, a thirst for social interaction. We can also use the need for food, hunger, as an idiom for want and desire. I hunger for your soft embrace. I'm hungry for success. Both hunger and thirst are often feelings that need to be satisfied. Mm. Oh. 
Oh, that's better. There can be no doubting just how hot it is today. It is so hard to escape the heat. By the way, the word heat can relate to other things besides temperature. We can use heat as an idiom for danger or trouble. Let's wait here until the heat has died down. To feel the heat means to be aware of possible dangers or an approaching situation that might cause you trouble. We can say that the heat is on, which means that a tough situation is happening. Then there is things are really heating up now. This means that there is tension and maybe a sense of excitement in the air. To be in hot water means to be in serious trouble. Then there is a heat which is a round in a contest or competition. A part of a contest can be called a heat. Congratulations, Mr. Duncan. You are through to the next heat. Ah, this is a much better place to be standing. If you want to escape the harsh sunshine, then you will need to find a nice shady place in which to hide from those nasty UV rays. You need to shade yourself from the sun whenever possible. A shady spot gives you relief from the sunshine and the heat. The word shady can also mean suspicious or untrustworthy. We can describe a person we don't trust as being shady. A shady character is a person who should not be trusted. A shady deal is an exchange or business deal that is being dishonestly carried out. There are many ways to keep yourself cool on a hot day. A quick way of doing this is to use one of these. This is an electric fan. A set of blades rotate to produce a flow of refreshing air. Very nice when you need to feel cooler without making much effort. A fan can also be something you use to cool yourself off with by waving it whilst holding it in your hand. Any large flat object can be used as a fan, such as a piece of cardboard or a magazine or even one of Mr. Duncan's old flip-flops. On second thoughts, I think I'll stick with the electric fan. It's much less effort. Black shoes and socks with shorts. Oh, what a fashion faux pas. They appear so odd together when looked at from afar. Shorts with black shoes and socks should never ever be seen. Even if you squint, the sight is still quite obscene. Black shoes and socks with shorts. Please be off and make it quick. As those black shoes, socks with shorts are making me feel quite sick.
sadly that is all I have time for today. Yes, another full English lesson has come to an end. Don't worry though, because I will see you very soon for full English number 14. Yes, it's true. This is Mr Duncan in a hot and sweltering England, which just happens to be the birthplace of the English language, saying to you, thanks a lot for watching me, teaching you. And of course, until next time, ta-ta for now. Did you see the little bumblebee there? Oh, wasn't it cute? Hmm. And as if by coincidence, can you believe it? Today is International Bee Day. It is. It's International Day of the Bee, where everyone around the world thinks about how important bees are. In fact, here in the UK, many people now like to encourage bees into their garden because they are very good not only for the garden, but also for the environment. They are very useful for pollinating and for cross-pollinating and for allowing people to, to grow things in their garden. So it generally, or they generally, help the environment a lot. So today is a special day. It is World Bee Day. <laughs> May the 20th every year. Save the bees. I don't know about you. But I absolutely love bees. Aren't they nice? You have to be careful, though, because they might sting you. But bees are very lovely. They are very useful. And they are always nice to see in the garden. You always know that your garden is doing well. You always know that your garden is coming along nicely when you have lots of insects living in the garden. So I think it's always a very good sign rare coins do you have any rare coins that are issued now the coins that i've got here these are just normal coins just normal money so you don't buy these you just have them given to you as money on a normal day-to-day -day basis so these aren't special coins that you have to buy they are just freely available and when you get one and you realize that it's very rare it is a limited edition then you have to make sure you keep hold of it so I have a feeling that some of the coins that I have here are quite rare I think so so I have three and I'm pretty sure that these coins are rare Peter Rabbit there is also squirrel nutkin and Battle of Hastings 50 pence coin so they are all valued at 50 pence but apparently because they are very rare because they only made a few of them apparently they are worth more than 50 pence apparently i would have thought that there would have been some special coins for the royal wedding but but to be honest i haven't seen any i haven't seen any special coins or anything special for the royal wedding that took place yesterday did you watch the royal wedding i know a lot of people around the world apparently millions and millions of people were watching the royal wedding yesterday but i didn't watch it i didn't see it because i was outside doing lots of filming the result of which you will be seeing in around about five minutes time in fact I think we will do that at around about three o'clock. Sadly, I think it is worth mentioning that there is no Mr. Steve today 
there is no mr steve he is not here i'm very very sorry about that but for those who are missing mr steve here he is doing his exercises <laughs> steady mr steve don't strain yourself so no mr steve today i'm very sorry about that but he will be with me on wednesday don't forget i am on twice a week so sunday 2 p.m uk time and also you can catch me every wednesday i will put the details on the screen for you to look at right now so live english streams every sunday from 2 p.m. UK time and every Wednesday 10 p.m. UK time there you can see now on the screen all of the details so that's quite good really the live chat is very busy let's go back shall we to the live chat I don't want to ignore the live chat Pedro says without bees and without honey uh, there would be oh without bees we would be without honey yes I think so so if there were no bees we would have no honey and that would be terrible I agree Jeff her says actually Valentine's Day is occurring today in China on the 20th of may oh i see just because the pronunciation of 520 is similar to war i knee oh i see yes war i knee well i know that in chinese if you want to say i love you you say war i knee i love you Ooh. Ooh. so yes i know that and apparently today it is valentine's day in china thank you connell for that miss fairy says mr duncan i've just checked the internet and it says that the battle of hastings coin has sold for five thousand pounds surely not that doesn't that doesn't sound right are you sure about that i'm going to have to check that so apparently <laughs> let's have a look so this coin you are saying that this coin is worth five thousand pounds I don't think that's true it can't be really what my goodness <laughs> I can't believe that I, I'm in a state of shock we also have rare coins here in Azerbaijan such as the one and three quepic I hope I pronounce that right Kepik or Kepik Kepik is that right is it called the Kepik last month I was given one Kepik and I still have it so that particular coin is a special limited edition so that's a great phrase when we say that something is a limited limited edition it means that there are only a certain amount of them around <laughs> Baham Baham really wants me to watch the royal wedding mr. Duncan you can download the royal wedding ceremony through YouTube yes I suppose I can <laughs> if I wanted to <laughs> but I don't Tias yes even in Indonesia the royal wedding was featured live by our national television channel is that true Tias I think many people around the world were watching the royal wedding and needless to say here in the UK lots of people were getting very excited yesterday about the royal wedding except for me I wasn't I was outside doing some filming <laughs> for today's live stream so I I didn't really watch the royal wedding yesterday and apparently because of that I am a very bad person apparently because I didn't watch it <laughs> some people yesterday 
in much wenlock town center they warned me they said don't tell anyone don't tell anyone that you didn't watch the royal wedding or they'll they'll be very angry i couldn't believe it <laughs> i thought we lived in a free country for goodness sake <laughs> if you don't want to watch the royal wedding then i don't think you have to to be honest so that's just my that's just my very humble opinion to be honest so that's all i think so if you don't want to watch it you don't have to so i didn't <laughs> and some people weren't very happy about it they said that i was being unpatriotic i'm not sure if that's true good morning mr duncan stefano is here hello stefano nice to see you here on the live chat yes it's sunday afternoon and we are live on youtube and it's just me today i'm sorry mr steve is not here he is auditioning <laughs> should i say rehearsing not auditioning he's already got the part he doesn't need to audition so if you audition for something if you have an audition it means you go along to see if you are suitable for the part so mr D mr steve is not auditioning he is actually rehearsing today kepik oh apparently i did pronounce the coin correctly oh it is kepik thank you very much shala for that mr duncan what is your favorite football team baham i must be honest i don't follow football i don't follow it i know yesterday the world was it the world cup no <laughs> the fa cup the fa cup final was taking place yesterday i think it was chelsea and manchester united i can't believe i know that and if if i'm right i think manchester united were were the losers i think chelsea were the winners yesterday once again i didn't watch it i don't follow football to be honest mr duncan where is the clip that mr steve is wearing the ghost costume that clip is very funny oh yes i know which one you mean yes i might try to find that i will try and find that if i can find mr steve dressed in his halloween costume i will try to find it <laughs> i'm not sure where it is now jeff says it looks like some guys are truly obsessed with the royal wedding but one like me but someone like me just doesn't care about it yes i think so jeff so some people are interested and some people are not it is just the way things are sometimes i think you're right i agree with you martha is here hello martha martha poland i watched the royal wedding well that's good i hope you enjoyed it javier or javier says we want to know the truth about mr steve <laughs> what do you mean the truth <laughs> I, I don't know what you mean by that is there something you know about mr steve that i don't is there something that you you know about mr steve i've just realized we haven't had a look outside today so we do have a live image outside we have a camera outside in fact if we have time i might go outside as well so there it is that is now a live view outside you might see some of the birds flying by so you can hear the sounds as well you can hear the sounds of the birds and also the view that is a live view the sun is shining in fact it is so hot today it is very hot here so in the second hour i might go into the garden i might actually go outside i might go outside live to chat to you in the second hour of the live stream meanwhile on the live chat apparently what's happening with mr steve that everyone is talking about i don't know i don't know why well i know one thing mr steve is appearing in 
a play a musical play and he will be doing that in a couple of weeks but hopefully next week he will be wearing his costume because he will be dressed as a Spanish pirate <laughs> so hopefully next week we will get a chance to see Mr Steve wearing his special costume I really really hope so in a moment we are going to take a lovely walk now what we are about to see is a special lesson that I made yesterday so a lot of people have asked Mr Duncan can you please do more lessons can you please record some more video lessons where you are walking around so I will show you that in a few moments but first of all there is something else that I have to show you my kitchen yes last week I finished decorating the kitchen would you like to have a look at it so here it is here is the redecorated kitchen I must say it looks a lot better now it looks very clean and tidy so there it is I have finished redecorating the kitchen I have put wallpaper on the walls and and also I've painted the doors so the doors look lovely now so there it is there is the kitchen painted and looking very very clean very smart so I was very busy last week in fact I've been very busy for the past two weeks redecorating the kitchen so that's what I've been up to but now everything looks lovely and clean in the kitchen isn't that nice the only thing I have to do now is replace the floor because the floor looks a bit dirty so there it is you can see the floor there that is very old that floor so that is the only thing I have to do now I have to change the floor I also put a new light in as well do you like the new light <gasps> yes everything looks lovely and clean in the kitchen so I feel very proud of the work that I did I really do enjoy decorating in fact many years ago I used to do it by uh, as a, as a occupation i used to be a professional decorator many many years ago many many years ago in a different life so here we go it's just after three o'clock and now we are going to take a look at something special something that i recorded yesterday and you will see that i am walking around enjoying some of the beautiful Summer Sights. A few days ago I was actually walking through this very field here and if you remember I promised that I would show you the bloom of the wild garlic so as you can see all of the wild garlic has now come into bloom and hmm I really do wish you could smell the aroma in the air it smells very Garlicky.
Filming in the woods on a summer's day might look like a very enjoyable way to pass the time. It might look like something that is very pleasurable and relaxing. However, there are some things you have to be aware of, such as small obstacles hidden in the undergrowth. For example, this tiny piece of wood. Look, this little piece of wood. It looks so innocent, doesn't it? However, if I were to step on this piece of wood and if it were to roll underneath my foot as I step onto it, I could fall over. I might break an arm or a leg or even worse, my neck. watching at the start of today's live stream you would have seen me standing in front of this lovely field isn't it beautiful I must say it really does feel as if summer is in the air now because of this this particular field is full of rapeseed now this is something that I've been showing you over the past couple of weeks during my live streams and now we can see it up close and personal as I've mentioned before rapeseed is used for making food oils and also for making biofuels as well modern fuels which are made from things that are renewable so these plants every year will grow and they can be harvested to make biofuels it is something that has become very popular just to show how popular biofuels are nowadays many of the fields in this area are full of rapeseed which is good for the environment but not very good news for me because I suffer from hay fever every single year I get terrible hay fever which causes me to sneeze it makes my eyes very itchy in fact as I'm standing here now I can feel my nose becoming very itchy uh, I feel as if I want to sneeze so there you can see it the beautiful rapeseed growing around the area in which I live many people asking Mr Duncan where do you live where do you normally broadcast your live streams from normally I broadcast from my little studio in Much Wenlock which is situated in the county of Shropshire You know there's nothing I enjoy more on a day like this than going for a wonder. The word wonder can have more than one meaning. It can also be spelt in different ways. There is wonder with A and wonder with O. Wonder with A means to roam around. You roam around in a casual way you wonder you wonder around the field you wonder around the town and then there is wonder spelt with an o that particular wonder means to be amazed by something something that is amazing to think about 
is a wonder. You might say wonders of the universe or wonders of nature. So there are two different types of wonder. Now I am going for a wonder over there. Do, 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 do. Oh, I hope you enjoyed that. Some beautiful sights and sounds from yesterday. I went for a lovely walk. So whilst you were watching the royal wedding, I was walking around enjoying the sunshine and talking about some of the surrounding scenery in my area. So I hope you enjoyed that. A lot of people writing to me asking, Mr. Duncan, please do more of the lovely lessons where you are running uh, running well sometimes I'm running especially if the bull is chasing me and walking around the beautiful countryside so I hope you enjoyed that a lot of people on the live chat oh by the way Pedro I have found the video of mr. Steve dressed in his Halloween costume would you like to see it so here is mr. Steve sadly today there is no mr. Steve on the live chat I'm very sorry about that did it get colder in here or is it just me I think it's you mr. Steve <laughs> oh dear so that's mr. Steve he is normally here on a Sunday and he normally joins me on Wednesday as well sadly today he is very busy it is international bee day it is world day of the bee so what do you think do you like bees there are people who keep bees they keep them and they like to take the honey from their little hives what do you call a person who loves taking care of bees do you know do you know what a person who likes taking care of bees is called <laughs> what do you call a person who takes care of bees a person who likes to look after bees or they keep them in a place and they normally each year they take away the honey and then they make some lovely fresh honey I don't know about you but I love honey on my cereal in the morning my breakfast cereal I love it in the morning beekeeper well that is one word there is another word as well that means a person who looks after bees <laughs> lots of people are saying beekeeper but what is it what is it I've been asked to show the uh, mystery idioms okay let's have a look shall we mystery idiom time there is the first one for those who missed them earlier the mystery idioms just say what you see these are well-known expressions in the English language and there is the second one but what is the mystery idiom so two things for you to think about person who keeps bees yes does anyone know what you call a person who keeps bees you can say beekeeper but there is another expression as well another one it's true but what is it if you think you know what it is let me know a lot of people saying beekeeper yes beekeeper but there is another name as well a person who looks after bees they keep bees normally in it looks like a white box but inside all of the bees build their hives and of course produce honey bees are very very useful creatures they are and that's the reason why today 
we are having world b day yes world b day <laughs> apparently according to aurora let's have a look shall we on the live chat a lot of people want to want to speak about bees apparently i can't he eat honey i always get stomach ache it is very sweet some people think that honey is very sickly yes very sickly very sickly it can make you feel very sick or unwell have you heard of smart hives is it true palmyra or palmyra i'm not sure what a smart hive is i don't know <laughs> yes somebody has said uh, apiarist apiarist is a person who looks after bees an apiarist <laughs> tannic says hiver i'm not sure if it's hiver but apiarist apiarist not many people are familiar with that word but yes an apiarist it cost me an arm and a leg is one of the guesses from nikolai thank you nikolai for that are you right we will find out later on julie is here julia hello julia thank you very much for your guesses on the mystery idioms as well that's very nice of you live chat very busy i will be going outside a little bit later on because it is an absolutely gorgeous day it seems a shame to be inside yesterday i was outside filming and it was beautiful today it is absolutely gorgeous shall we have a look outside let's have a little look outside and there you can hear the sounds of mother nature oh yes it is quite breezy there is a little bit of a a wind today but you can see that it's very sunny very bright have you ever been to Windsor Castle asks Jobin no I've never been to Windsor Castle ever I've never been to Windsor either I've never been there the live chat is very busy <laughs> the people are very busy bees thank you Bella Bella is right yes you are correct Bella there is an expression in English busy bee if a person is a busy bee it means they are very active they have lots of things to do well then are you a busy bee mr duncan i saw a video of beekeepers that made a new kind of apiaries where they don't do any harm to the bees whilst they are taking the honey yes normally when they take the honey out of the apiary an apiary is where they keep the bees so the bees live inside the apiary how is your kitchen renovation oh did you miss it oh i was showing it to you just would you like to have another look so here is the kitchen it is now finished i finished my lovely kitchen it is now looking very clean and very tidy i've done all of the redecorating i've painted and I've also put wallpaper on the walls so everything looks very neat and very tidy and as you can see I have also painted the door as well so everything is looking lovely now in the kitchen my work <laughs> is complete everything is done the only thing I need to do now is put put the new floor down on on the floor the floor needs replacing because it's very old and dirty yes it does look better i do agree with you the kitchen does look much better i think so shall we go outside would you like to spend a few moments outside because it seems such a shame not to go outside so that's what we're going to do right now i think we will go outside and i will talk to you with the mobile phone is that a good idea okay let's go outside right now just a moment please bear with me <laughs>
so here we are outside now live as live can be i hope you are okay and i hope you can hear me all right so we are now live and we have the live chat as well let's see i hope it's working if not i am in big big trouble oh thank you ts thank you for your lovely lovely compliment about my kitchen yes it does look better uh, i think so it looks very lovely yes the flooring the flooring so when we say the flooring we mean the floor area so i need to replace the flooring what if someone comes behind out of nowhere and creeps you out thank you jobin i'm hoping that that doesn't happen you see <laughs> so I'm hoping that no one comes up behind me and scares me. I really do. What is the name of the flower that has purple blue colour, Mr. Duncan? Uh, over there, do you mean over there? So the blue, I'm not actually sure what that is. I think, I think that over there is actually Busy Lizzie. Do you remember last week we were talking about that particular plant? So there you can see Busy Lizzie some busy lizzie beautiful blue plants the nature around your house is gorgeous thank you maria for that it's very kind of you to say at the moment there is there is someone flying around in an airplane <laughs> i think they're trying to get on my live stream I hear the plane is doing aerobatics outside yes you are right it is going round and round quite often we get many people doing their their flying training so you might get some pilots who are who are being taught how to fly planes and you might find that they will be flying over here dear mr. Duncan the last time I asked you about the birds voice I didn't mean cuckoo but now I know what the bird is. It is the dove, the wild pigeon. Oh, I see. It's like a... Is that what you mean? <laughs> we call that sound coo. So the sound that a pigeon makes is coo. C-double-O, coo. Did you hear the pheasant over there? There is a pheasant just behind me calling because the male pheasants are now gathering their harems together. It's true. So the male pheasant normally has about five or six females that he takes care of, as it were. Mm, it's true. Your tie looks too gorgeous or maybe very gorgeous so it's not too gorgeous you might say that your tie looks very gorgeous or really gorgeous thank you for your compliment I can hear many sounds of birds yes the birds are all around me and a few moments ago I mentioned the cuckoo 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 yesterday night whilst I was outside filming with Mr. Steve we actually heard a cuckoo calling which is a very unusual sound you don't often hear the sound of the cuckoo so yesterday evening we got very excited here in the garden because we actually heard the sound of a cuckoo calling hello Mr. Duncan Jamelia hello Jamelia where have you been have you been watching replays of the royal wedding <laughs> maybe yes there are lots of birds lots of birds flying around me you might be able to hear a dunnock that sound there that was a dunnock there is a male dunnock sitting just over there <laughs> in the tree <laughs> so that sound is a dunnock yes you can hear lots of sounds of the birds you are right 
so it wasn't a cuckoo no okay then so it was the sound of a dove Jackie from China is watching hello Jackie nice to see you here on the live chat a big ni hao to you as well so welcome Jackie it's nice to see you here where are you going to travel this summer I'm not sure where I'm going to travel because I'm so busy doing this and to be honest I don't feel like traveling anywhere because because look I have all of this so so really wh why would I want to travel anywhere why would I want to go anywhere when I have all of this beautiful surrounding the colors of the tree behind you are so beautiful it seems very windy yes Bella it is a little bit breezy today you might notice that the trees are blowing slightly so yes there is a little bit of a breeze so that that particular tree there is the cherry tree so every year that tree has lots of beautiful purple blossom so yes it is very nice Ed Nilsson hello Ed Nilsson I haven't seen you for a long time hi I'm from Brazil and I love you so much you are helping me a lot with my English if you want to practice my English can call me okay <laughs> I'm not sure about that <laughs> I'm not sure if I can call you personally what's up with the weather in the UK it's better than Spain thank you Carlos yes you are right during the past few days we have had the most amazing weather here it's been very hot today it's around about 23 degrees today 23 so it's very pleasant in fact it's so warm uh, I have actually come outside in my t-shirt so I'm wearing my t-shirt outside because it's so warm you are right hello mr. Duncan hello Najuan Khan is here <laughs> yes a lot of people in southern Europe are enduring the rain at the moment they are having to put up with lots of rain so it would appear that we are having better weather here in England than they are in southern Europe and normally there the weather is always beautiful at this time of year <laughs> YouTube has just started a new scheme called uh, fan funding so there is something now where you can actually donate money every month and through that you will get lots of special extra things that other people can't get it is very similar to patreon I think they call it fan sponsorships so they they call it sponsorships you can actually get people now to sponsor you directly through YouTube so that's something that has been offered to me but what what do you think do you think it's a good idea I think it's very similar to the way in which patreon works here in South Brazil it is nine degrees oh that's very cold that's very cold and it's early morning where you are early morning now in Brazil here it's nice and warm have you been busy these days I really enjoyed watching Harry's wedding but where is mr. Steve sadly mr. Steve is very busy today because he is rehearsing for a show that he's appearing in so yes that's the reason why uh, yes I have been very busy we had mr. Steve's mother last week she came to stay here and I have been very busy redecorating the kitchen I have just been to and I have just been in well one refers to a place I have just been to the shops I have just been to the garage I have just been to my neighbors but when we say in we mean a particular place so I've just been in the supermarket so you are in there so they actually do mean the same thing I have been to London I was staying in London I have been 
in London so you can use both of them and they mean relatively the same thing here in Turkey the weather is hot Hatice yes I think so I would imagine the weather is very hot in Turkey for most of the year that the weather in Turkey is hot I think so <laughs> so go ahead Mr Duncan with your new feature on YouTube you are worth it yes I think the scheme is very similar to patreon so I do have some supporters who support me every month to allow my work to continue because I spend a lot of my free time a lot of my time a lot of my life arranging these live streams and also recording my lessons as well I would really like to see the busy Lizzie close up well maybe another time not today because I can't move I can't move the camera unfortunately but yes maybe on Wednesday I will get some very close shots of the busy Lizzie Edninson I watch you every Sunday thanks for helping me I, I learn English with you thank you very much I'm glad to hear that I will go back inside now because it is now half past three three thirty on a Sunday afternoon and you are watching live English with me Mr Duncan thank you Mr Pheasant the pheasant sounds very excited I think it must be mating season I am now back indoors back in my studio so at least now we know it is live <laughs> definitely so it's a Sunday afternoon and live English is here right now live chat is very busy it is very difficult to read all of the messages correctly when I'm outside <laughs> because of the sunlight it's actually very difficult to read sometimes what is on the screen you read my name wrong oh I'm very sorry about that Ying Hung says it is 34 degrees here in Formosa Formosa Taiwan of course Formosa is the original name of Taiwan so hello to all my lovely Taiwanese friends I have a friend who lives in Taiwan called Ben Benjamin Wu hello to you Mika is here yes Mika thanks for your lovely comments about the birds today the weather was so nice so I took an 18 kilometer walk through the woods I did that yesterday I hope you enjoyed it I bet the weather is lovely there at the moment I bet everything looks so amazing <gasps> oh I would love to love to go on a similar walk it sounds like fun if I win the lottery one day I will donate you half of my money thank you Naju and Khan <laughs> I think the chances of you winning the lottery are very small just like everyone else M. Um, Seska says it is such a beautiful day in Much Wenlock. Yes, it is. It's absolutely amazing here. The weather yesterday was incredible. Belarusia says it seems really beautiful, the place where you live. Yes, I, I have noticed actually on Mika Ode's Facebook page, I have actually noticed some really nice photographs of the nature so I, I know that Mika enjoys walking very much Ed Nilsson Mr Duncan I need to talk with my <laughs> English oh I see <laughs> some of that I cannot read properly so I'm not going to try 
make myself look a fool I think you've been learning English since 2010 I think that's what it says anyway I love walking yes me too I would imagine Mika you are very very fit I think so very fit and healthy yes walking is good for the heart it is very very relaxing sometimes it is nice to get out and about you can relax your mind and your body as well at the same time Mikaland says hello from Palvadar in Kazakhstan hello to you thanks for joining me I will be here for about another 15 minutes and then I'm going I'm back on Wednesday of course I will be back at the usual time 10 o'clock 10 p.m. on Wednesday I will be here live yes it's true I feel as if I have something else to show you really do I I feel as if there is something else that I wanted to show to you no I don't think so I think that's it really Wow can you believe because there's no mr. Steve I I've literally got nothing else to show you that's very unusual <laughs> I should have stayed outside really so on the live chat we have Sukat says Ying Hung Tseng there is a province called Formosa in Argentina too really I did not know that thanks for letting me know Sukat that's very interesting I, I like that information to be honest here's something I wanted to mention as well something I was going to mention in fact I mentioned it on Wednesday but I didn't have time to talk about it so I'm going to talk about it now so do you ever watch TV documentaries now last week there was a very interesting documentary on television all about heart transplants and they actually showed a heart transplant being carried out you could actually see the heart being put into another person's body it was incredible and they actually started the heart up you could see the moment where the heart started to beat it was quite incredible now not everyone likes to watch those sorts of documentaries because there's lots of blood and lots of operations so lots of people don't like to watch those sorts of things but sometimes I find them very fascinating but there is a problem sometimes maybe these sorts of programs are appearing too often maybe they are being used as a form of entertainment rather than education so I think sometimes TV documentaries can be a little too mawkish mawkish that's an interesting word I will write that word down for you I was going to write it down but I forgot so mawkish if something is mawkish it means that it is invading someone's personal moment it is very invasive you are glamorizing something that is unpleasant or maybe you are cheapening you are making something very serious or something very upsetting very cheap so I think these days a lot of programs on television are just quite mawkish they, they like to exploit people's vulnerabilities and emotions so even though I do like watching documentaries on television I do like watching TV documentaries sometimes they can be a little mawkish they seem to be taking advantage of a person's problem or maybe something that is wrong in their lives so I think sometimes especially when we have programs about people who are living with not much money maybe they are poor and then the documentary maker will go and film them and you will see how they live but sometimes I think that those types of documentaries are a little mawkish they seem to be glamorizing the person's suffering for entertainment purposes so that's what I think anyway sometimes I think television does trivialize 
people's suffering. I think so. The live chat is very busy. Oh, I see. You spent over 11 years making videos on YouTube. You please keep going and be strong. Well, of course I will. I have no intention of quitting. So I will not be going anywhere. So don't worry about that. TS says I like watching wildlife documentaries on television. Me too. I love watching David Attenborough. Hello, my name is David Attenborough and this is how I talk very close to the microphone. Ricardo says, can I use those words in E E U U? I don't know what you mean by that. Bella says, I like to watch documentaries about investigations. I used to watch Mayday and airplane crash investigation. <laughs> yes, I must be honest. Sometimes I watch documentary programs about plane crashes. Yes, I think they might be a little unpleasant to watch. Also, medical detectives and investigations about crimes. There are many of these programs. I, I tell you one program. I'm going to tell you about a program now that is shown on TV here. I don't know if it's shown anywhere else, but they talk about famous people who have died and they talk about the circumstances and all of the medical things involved with the way in which they died. And there have been some very famous ones here in the UK. There was one about Michael Jackson. Uh, and the circumstances surrounding his death. Also, who else? I'm trying to think who else now. <laughs> oh, there was one on the other night about Marilyn Monroe and the way she died. Uh, so some people think that Marilyn Monroe committed suicide and other people think that she was murdered. A bit of a conspiracy theory, in fact. So there are some programs on television that talk about the way in which famous people died or how they met their deaths. But I'm not sure if that's a good subject for a TV program. Maybe it is a little bit mawkish, mawkish. It's a great word that. Back to the live chat and then I will be going in around about five minutes. Thank you very much. Uh, the views of the cities from the top is a good program to watch. Oh, yes, I know what you mean. Are you talking about people who climb to the top of buildings? Is that what you're talking about? Nata says, I like watching documentaries, especially on National Geographic. So I think Nata likes watching nature documentaries. Martha says, please don't go, Mr. Duncan, please. Well, I have some other things to do, you see. J.F. Kennedy. Yes, there was a documentary about the death of J.F. Kennedy. You are right. The circumstances surrounding his death. Um, I think we all know what happened there. He was shot. He was actually shot in the head, which is something that not many people recover from to be honest. Sukat, I love documentaries about famous people. Me too. I like finding out about famous people. I like to find out about their life story. I also like to find out about famous people before they were famous. Yes, you can learn and practice and improve your English by watching these types of programs. Yes, I think so. You are right. Bye bye, Mr. Duncan. Yes, I will be going soon. Which English teacher do you like to watch on YouTube? Are you asking me that question? I must admit, I don't I don't watch many, many English teachers on YouTube. I like watching Mr. Vid Mr. Duncan's videos most of all. Thank you, Belarusia, for your support there. Thank you very much. <laughs> the problem is YouTube has 
a different plan yes yes mawkish can be disgusting yes so a horrible tasteless way something that is made to look glamorous or entertaining but in fact isn't we can describe it as being mawkish mawkish human curiosity can sometimes be quite mawkish before i go we are going to have a look at the mystery idioms here they come now so these are the answers to the mystery idioms well done to all those who got them right the answer to the first one a lot of people got this right work around the clock the meaning a very long period of productivity or labor that goes on through both the day and night to finish something on time you might have to work around the clock so well done if you got that right and the second mystery idiom a lot of people got this one correct you have to pay or maybe something cost an arm and a leg the meaning is to pay a very high price for something a very expensive item can be described as costing an arm and a leg the thing you bought was very expensive it cost an arm and a leg so there they are today's mystery idioms have been solved and i will be going in a moment i like nature documentaries i must admit i do like watching documentaries about nature and wildlife and their natural habitat so yes i do like those sorts of documentaries especially when they are being presented by David Attenborough I think he's amazing and he's 92 now can you believe it David Attenborough is now 92 years old incredible thank you very much for your messages today so many people apparently yes well if you want to sell your kidney Betul you can you can some people do sell their kidneys <laughs> or their organs to make money I don't think I would do that I'm not I'm not that desperate not yet anyway goodbye mr. Duncan hope you are fine all day thank you Nijuan and I hope you have a nice time there in Vietnam I hope so in Spanish we can say that something costs an eye of the face very similar I think that must have a very similar meaning I think so I am going to leave you now it's time to say goodbye I will be back on Wednesday at 10 p.m. UK time don't forget 10 p.m. UK time can I also say a big thank you to the following people I want to also say thank you to all of my lovely patrons for supporting my work there we go some of the lovely people supporting my work and allowing it to continue thank you very much and last week I had a new patreon ding bye so thank you very much I will be adding your name to the list of all my patrons and also a big thank you to arena thank you arena or arena for your paypal donation last week very kind of you indeed and of course if you wish to make a small donation or a large donation on paypal you are more than welcome to do so you can catch me every sunday from 2 p.m and every wednesday so don't forget that for those who are wondering when i am on and many people ask mr duncan when can we catch you live twice a week sunday and wednesday also can i just mention that all of my lessons are available under this video so all of my lessons are available underneath this video all of my playlists are available 
so that's it i think we are there we have reached the end of today's live english i will see you on wednesday 10 p.m uk time if you can't make it don't worry you can always watch it again on youtube and of course this live chat will be available later with subtitles so you can watch this again later on and there will be subtitles on the screen as well so one last look at the live chat and then i am going thank you nata thanks a million for the lessons you are welcome thanks for your time go see you you are welcome once again ts thank you sir stay happy and healthy i will try my best to ta for now from martha bye bye from maria why is it 10 p.m uk time because on wednesday i like to do a late stream for those who are watching in south america so i try to do two live streams each week so on wednesday a lot of people in south america like to watch and on sunday a lot of people on the other side of the world who are ahead of the uk they like to watch so that's the reason why bye bye Michael lads bye bye betul and also bye bye to jc geordie thank you very much see you later and of course you know what's coming next yes you do until the next time we meet right here on youtube this is mr duncan in england saying well you know what i'm going to say next ta-ta for now <laughs>